so good morning everyone i welcome you all in this lecture series of uh, surveying two subject uh, as we all know that we have started with the first chapter tachymetric surveying and we have studied about the various methods which are involved in tachymetric surveying and we have started with the first method that is your more fixed stair method uh, we have done some numerical in the previous class uh, today we will try to do uh, some other numericals uh, related to your fixed stair method okay so the numerical which we are going to do today is thus there is the problem number 3 uh, so as i have told you in the previous class uh, some observation tables have been given in your question and based on that you need to prepare a diagram uh, to calculate the horizontal and vertical distance so in the similar manner you will have to uh, create <coughs> as we have done previously we have created a diagram based on this observation table in this lecture also we will create a diagram based on this observations okay so try to understand what this table is saying so firstly the following observations are made in tachymetric surveying so it is clearly mentioning mentioning that uh, tachymetric surveying is been performed uh, instrument station is at point a so we are keeping your our instrument station at point a suppose this is your instrument station which is at point a okay uh, the height of instrument is also given over here uh, this is required Uh, but we will see you discuss about this in, in uh, as we move further uh, so the first staff the staff has been first kept at benchmark okay so the first reading has been taken on the benchmark and this is having a vertical angle of minus 5 degree 30 minutes so as you all know that this is your horizontal line of sight this is our horizontal line of sight okay this is our horizontal line of sight so in order to go it to be negative uh the terrain must be what the terrain must be sloping okay so the benchmark is on somewhere here only in this condition the angle will be what 5 degree minus 5 degree from here okay so this is the benchmark okay this is your first reading and then uh three readings are been taken on this particular point which is your our top air reading bottom air reading and central air reading okay after that again the instrument is at station eight so the instrument position is not changing it is at a only uh, after that uh, staff has been held at point b okay and the angle which has been made is what plus 8 degree 30 minutes so this is our horizontal line of sight so plus 8 degree will be somewhere here so this will be your point 8 degree so this is your point b okay so in this way you need to prepare the diagram based on the observation which has been given okay now it, in the third stage what it is is saying that the uh, instrument has been now shifted to b it is saying that now the instrument has been kept at point b at this point the instrument has been shifted and the observation has been made at point c so above this will be what above this is nothing but your above uh, below this will be your negative sign angle but here the angle is coming out to be positive that means it is also on this side okay so we will have to draw the point c and this this will be the angle of 10 degree okay hope you have understood this diagram okay we have clearly based on the observation which is been given in the table we have calculated uh, we have drawn uh, the diagram so in order to see a fair diagram i will show you the fair diagram over here see over here the instrument is being kept at point a the first reading is been taken at benchmark the second reading is been taken at point b okay similarly after that the instrument is been shifted at point b and then the observation is been made at point c okay now what it is saying that after preparing the diagram we need to uh, know what are the things which we need to calculate in this to so calculate the reduced level of a b and c so all the three points we have to measure the uh, rl that means the vertical elevation we need to find out at point a b c okay and the horizontal distance between a b and b c so we need to also calculate the distance between what a b which is d2 and b c which is your d3 Uh, the tachometer is fitted with analytical lens so as i have told you the theodolite is generally provided with an analytical lens so that its multiplying constant become 100 so the multiplying constant value is also given as 100 additive value is not given as that means for, for we need to take the additive constant as 0 okay now the solution uh, this is the case of what this is the first case when the line of sight is inclined upward and uh, the staff is been held vertically and this is second one well, second case which is the line of sight inclined downward and the staff has been held vertical so the formula for both the cases are same uh, the formula for vertical horizontal distance is what f by i into s square square theta 
uh, plus f plus d cos theta but f plus d is already zero so we don't need to take, consider that because f plus d is directly becoming zero similarly in vertical distance f by into s into sin square theta plus what f plus d into sin theta because it is f plus d is additive constant is zero so they will directly become what zero okay these two formula we will use and try to calculate what the reduced level of point a b c and the distance between what uh, a b and uh, b c okay so we'll start with what uh we'll start with the first observation so first observation uh, we can calculate the value of v1 so v1 again we are using what f by i f by i is nothing but your 100 okay s as i have told you it is nothing but your staff intercept so the staff intercept is nothing but the difference of the higher value and the lower value so 2 minus what my 2.005 minus 0 0.905 that will give you your staff intercept okay so see over here what it is saying 2.005 minus what 0 0.905 into what sin 2 theta so angle which is coming out in this case was what sin square theta so sin square theta will be what uh, angle is minus 11 degree 30 minutes and it is 2 time theta so directly it will become, it will become I think this is um, something is wrong over here it is 2 theta sin 2 theta sin square theta is not there sin sin 2 theta is there. so sin 2 theta means what multiply 5 degree 30 minutes with what 2 so you will get 11 degree okay uh, so after calculating this we have got the value of v1 after similarly in d the formula of d we will put the value f by i will be what 100 staff intercept will be the difference of these two reading and cos square theta which is 5 degree 30 minutes so it, this will give you the horizontal distance okay this is the first observation that means what from a to benchmark we have calculated this from A to benchmark. After that, we'll try to calculate for the second observation. Okay, V200. Again, uh, for the second reading, we have got the uh, here reading. So we'll minus the greater reading with the smaller one into sine 2 theta. So it was 8 degree. So it will be what 16 degree. So the final value of V2 is coming out to be 24.807. Similarly, D2 F by is 100. This is the staff intercept and this is cos square theta. So this is the values coming out for the uh, distance D2 and for the third observation again F by I into the difference of two value uh, star, the hair readings and the angle was 10 degrees so then and twice 10 will be what 20 so the final value of V3 is what 25.62 and D3 is coming out to be what 100 into the staff intercept minus first square theta so this will be your D3 value now we will see what were the things which we needed to calculate. So first, initially, uh, distance was required. So distance we can already directly given uh, since we have calculated the observation from A to B and we have also calculated the observation from B to C. So A to B, the distance was coming out to be what? Second observation, the distance is coming out to be what? 176.514. So this is the distance between A to B. Okay, and we have also made observation from B to D, so that will give you what B to C, sorry, that will give you the uh, distance between B to C. So these two values are, was required, that is the horizontal distance between AB and BC, so we have already calculated this. Now after that, we need to calculate the reduced level, so reduced level, as I have told you, reduced level is very easy to calculate. Uh, you need to understand the line and you need to measure what you need to calculate. Uh, we need to subtract or add based on the, the given diagram suppose we have got the benchmark benchmark is given so benchmark value is given as what uh, over here the value is 450.50 okay so this value is there so 450 plus 50 450.5 plus what h1 plus v1 you will get the rl of instrument axis okay so rl of instrument axis when you are getting you can minus it with your height of instrument so at point a the height of instrument is 1.345 so once you minus your RL of instrument axis with the height of instrument, you will get the RL of. So see over here how it has been calculated. Uh, first, it has calculated the RL of instrument axis, which will be the RL of benchmark plus V1 plus H1. This is coming out to be 462.449. RL of A will be what? 462.449 minus what height of instrument? It is coming out to be 461.104. See? After, after that RL of B is required so RL of B how you can calculate RL of B you can go over here and see the diagram 
uh, we have got the instrument axis level so our uh, our of instrument axis we have got so by adding v2 we will get up to the center of this graph and once we minus this h2 we will get the point b so rl of instrument axis plus v2 minus what h2 that will give you the rl of b uh, yeah. uh, rl of b is what uh, rl of instrument axis plus v2 minus what h2 so the final answer is coming out to be 485.601 and the last we need to calculate the RL of C. So RL of C, what you can calculate the RL of C. Uh, where is RL of C over here? Oh yeah. Huh. C over here. We have got the value of what RL of B. So once we add the height of instrument, we will get the instrument axis level. So RL of B plus 1.550. That will give you the instrument access level plus V3 minus H3 will give you the value of C. So C over here, what it has done. Mm, RL of B plus 1.550, that is your RL of instrument access at point B, which is coming out to be 487.151. And RL of C is what? 487.151 plus V3 minus what H3. So the final value is coming out to be 510.553 meter. So in this way, you can calculate the horizontal and vertical distance based on the formulas which we provided in tachometric surveying which we have derived. Okay. Uh, the next question is that the following observations were made using tachometer fitted with an analytical lens, the multiplying constant being 100. Uh, so this is the instrument station at point A. The height of instrument at that particular point is 1.55. The staff has been kept at 2 point A and B. The whole circle bearing has been given. Uh, so the new something new is coming in this question because the whole circle bearing so far was not given in any question but in this question the whole circle bearing is been given so there will be some uh, this problem will be a little different from the previous one okay the vertical angle has been given which is 4 degree 30 minutes and this is 10 degree 15 minutes the hair readings has been given and the rl of uh, the particular point instrument station o is also now we need to calculate the horizontal distance between a b and the RL of point A and B and also find the gradient of line AB. So this is also a new term, gradient. So far it was not required but in this question it is required. So in this question what we need to understand is that we need to understand first the diagram. You need to create every time whenever you get the question related to tachometric survey you need to create a diagram over here. Okay. So the diagram in this will be what the instrument station is at point O. Okay. And there is no other instrument station. That means instrument has been kept at a single station, which is at point O. Okay. After that, uh, the staff has been kept at point A. Suppose it has been kept at point A, and suppose so, C over here. Uh, the whole circle bearing is given. That means what? This is your zero. Okay. Whole circle bearing 70 degree is given. That means the point A is somewhere here. Okay. So. At this point, this is your point A, 30 degree, 30 minutes, and the observation has been made on this side. Again, uh, another point is there, that is your point B is there. Uh, let me draw it with some other color. Okay. So, point B is there. This is your point B. Okay, because it is at an angle of 75 degree. Uh, 30 minutes so 30 degree will be uh, earlier and 75 degree will be after 30 degree okay this is how the reading has been made now we need to calculate this distance a b we need to calculate the horizontal distance between a b okay also we need to calculate the rl of a and also we need to calculate the rl of b okay so how we will do this problem and also we need to calculate the gradient what is the slope between a and b okay so we'll try to see how we can calculate this first we will make uh, we have also got we have got the formulas for v1 and v d1 we will calculate the for first observation and for second observation this is simple which we have been doing in previous problem which is f by i into staff intercept into what sine to theta f plus d the value will be what zero so the final value of v1 is coming out to be 9.386 meter and similarly d1 is coming out to be 119.261 meter okay in second observation v2 we have calculated by using the same formula uh, the angle will be different based on this uh, value we need to take the angle 4 degree 
10 degree so the value is coming out to be 26.265 and the d2 value is coming out to be 145 145.250 okay so first we will try to calculate what is the rl so rl can be easily calculated by what uh, we have got the rl of 0 0.0 so rl of 0 0.0 plus what height of instrument 1.55 this will give you the instrument axis level okay after this uh, uh, over here you can see that rl of o plus height of instrument that is giving our first value which is your rl of instrument axis then we have we have calculated the value of v1 so v1 will be what so v1 will be what i will show you in your separate diagram over here see we have got the rl of instrument axis okay uh, from the center to this height this is nothing but your v1 and from center to the ground distance it is nothing but your h1 okay so the rl of instrument axis plus v1 minus h1 that will give you the rl of point a so rl of a is what rl of uh, instrument axis which is coming out to be 151.550 plus v1 minus what h1 that will give you your rl of uh, that will give you the rl of your point a okay and similarly rl of b will be same B will be what RL, RL of instrument axis plus V2 minus H2 because both the angles are in elevation. So we need to plus V uh, plus the vertical height and minus the central air reading. Okay, H1 and H2 are the central hair readings. RL of B. So in this way, we have calculated the RL of A and RL of B. Uh, the only twist in this question is related to this horizontal distance because previously the uh, questions, previously the questions in which was given. Uh, in that the points are in a straight line but in this case the points are not in a straight line so we need to use a um, different technique to calculate the distance between a b so what we are trying to do in this what we are using what we have got the value of oa so this is your instrument station point o we have got the horizontal distance between oa okay this is coming out to be 191.261 we have got the horizontal distance between ob which is coming out to be 145.520 we have got the angle over here you can see that you can calculate the angle which has been created inside this the total angle was coming out to be 75 degree 30 minutes minus what once we can minus what 30 degree uh, 30 minutes we will get this angle so this angle is coming out to be 45 degree 0 minute so based on the uh, horizontal distance formula we can easily calculate what by using this formula we can calculate the horizontal distance between AB. This is coming out to be what OA square. OA value we have provided. OB square we have got the OB value minus what twice OA into OB into cos theta. So we'll put the value 119.265261 square plus 145.250 square minus twice into 119.261 into 145.250 and cos square theta values come cos square 45 is 0 0.707. So the final value of AB the distance AB is what 104. Point 0 0.5 uh, the distance of level between A and B is what so uh, over here we have also calculated the difference of level in order to calculate the gradient the RL of A was coming out to be 159.181 and the RL of B is coming out to be 175.851 that means the point A is below point B point A is below point B because the level is less over here the level is high over here so it is a sloping ground okay there is a rise from a to b correct okay now we can calculate the gradient gradient is the difference of level divided by the horizontal distance so difference of level is coming out to be what the formula for gradient is what difference of level divided by the horizontal distance so the difference of level is coming out to be 16.634 and the horizontal distance was coming out to be 104.05 which is coming out to be 1 divided by 62.5 which is in terms of slope it is given as 1 in 6.25 i recommend you that you try to calculate by using your calculators okay so that you will understand uh, it more uh, easily okay and you will do you will have no doubts related to your calculations also okay after that uh, the next question is related to what the next question is related to the third case uh, of fixed air method the third case uh, I have not uh, teach you till now uh, so first we will try to understand what is the third case it is saying 
let me show you the third case over here. So the third case of fixed air method, as I've told you, there are three cases in fixed air method. One is what when the staff is being kept vertical and the line is what perfectly horizontal. This is the first case. Okay, the second case is what when the instrument is at a certain when the uh, points are at a certain line, uh, height. So when it is in elevation and the staff has been held vertical, uh, the case. This is about case two. And the last case is what when the line of sight is inclined but the staff normal to it. So as you can see over here, the instrument has been kept and the line of sight is what inclined upward and the staff is not kept vertical. It has been kept horizontal. Okay, it has been kept normal to the line of sight. So the formula changes in this case. Okay, this is the third case. So the formula which has been changing for this is what uh, for the value of what v or d. The d value is coming out to be what f by i into s cos theta plus h plus d cos theta plus h sine theta. Okay, so this is the formula for your horizontal distance. F plus d f by i into s cos theta plus f plus d cos theta plus h sine theta. So the vertical distance formula is coming out to be what f by i into s sine theta sine theta plus f plus d sine theta. This is the uh, formula for vertical distance. In order to calculate the uh, RL of staff station P, we need to calculate the RL of instrument axis plus V minus what H cos theta. So where this H cos theta is coming out to be, you need to see this diagram for that. So in order to calculate what uh, the RL of this point, what we need to get what uh, we, we need to calculate the instrument axis plus V1. Okay, uh, we cannot minus h1 h because h is what inclined so we need to minus what this value which is h cos theta okay so it will be what rl of instrument axis minus v minus what h cos theta okay hope you have understood this this derivation not uh, i'm not explaining in detail because uh, this derivation is asked when uh, you're allowed to get your physical papers but um, nowadays your university is conducting what uh, the uh, exams in MCQ form so that is that derivation is not that much important for your current exam point of view okay you must you need to understand what is the formula and what are the various terms which has been used in this particular case okay mm. okay so this is the uh, RL and this is the different formula this is the formula for D and this is the formula for V okay and this is also similar in case uh, the formula is the same in case of what when the line of sight is inclined downward okay so the only difference will be what uh, the difference will be in the rl which will be in that we were adding plus v and this we will have to minus v because we are coming down uh, downward side okay so we will try to do a numerical related to this so that you can clearly get the picture what is it is what exactly it is saying So as you can see in this problem, two points A and B are on the opposite side of a summit. So as you can see, summit as you as you know that this, there is a hill over here. Okay, uh, the tachometer was set up at point P on the top of the summit. Okay, and the following readings were taken. So the tachometer has been fitted at this point, and the following readings were taken at point A, at point B. So two at two points the readings were taken. Okay, so over here the diagram has been given. First reading was taken at point A. The second reading was taken at point B. Okay, uh, the hair readings have been given. The RL of P, we have got, we have got the RL of P. Uh, okay, uh, now what it is asking that the tachometer window is fitted with an analytical lens. The multiplying constant being 100, the staff was held normal to the line of sight. The distance between AB, we need to calculate the distance between A to B. That means from this point to this point, we need to calculate the distance, which means D1 plus D2 will give you the distance. And the gradient of line PA from P to A, what is the gradient, and P to B, the gradient. Okay, so we'll try to calculate what the formula is. So, we have got the formula for line of sight uh, inclined upward or downward, and the staff is at normal to it. So, the formula is V by I, sorry, F by I into S sine theta plus F plus D sine theta. Okay, this is the formula for V. F by I, as I told you, it is 100, 
f plus b is 0, theta 1 is 10 degree, theta 2 is what 12 degree. So based on that, we have calculated v1. So v1, s as I have told you, it is the difference of reading. So based on that, we have got the value as 31.265. v2, we have calculated, which is coming out to be 31.186. h1, uh, over here, we require the value of h1. Over here, we gave, in order to calculate this uh, particular distance or this particular level, we need to find out the value of h1, which is what h cos theta, and this over here it will be h2 cos theta. So h will be what? h is nothing but the central air rating. Uh, this is the central air rating into what is the cost angle. This will give you 2.018, and similarly, h2, which is coming out to 1.569. So RL of A. So RL of A, in order to calculate the RL of A uh, instrument axis, sorry, in order to calculate the RL of instrument axis, we need to add the height of instrument to this particular level. So P for 50.5 plus what the instrument axis height is 1.5, that will give you the instrument axis level minus V1 minus H1, that will give you the RL of A. And similarly in this RL of instrument axis minus V2 minus what H2, that will give you the RL of P. So see over here it must have been done the same thing. The RLF is what RLF instrument axis minus V1 minus H1. This is coming out to be 418.726. And similarly, RLF B, RLF instrument axis minus V2 minus what H2. This is giving out, coming out to be 419.245. Okay. Uh, now we need to calculate the horizontal distance. So horizontal distance we have got the formula. F by I into S cos theta plus F plus D cos theta minus S sin theta. So based on this formula, we'll calculate the distance D1 and D2. So after putting all the values, we are getting the value as coming out to be 176.91. And the D2 value is coming out to be 146.389. So the final distance between A and B will be what? D1 plus D2 as shown in the diagram. The D1 plus D2, that will give you the horizontal distance. So which is coming out to be 2. Uh, 223.299 meter. Okay. Now we need to calculate the gradient of point uh, PA line PA and gradient of PB in order to calculate that we require the difference of level from P to A. So at point P the reduced level is coming out to be what 450.5, and at point A the reduced level is coming out to be what we have calculated the reduced level at A which is coming out to be what 418.7265. So the difference of level. So this is the difference of level divided by the horizontal distance. The horizontal distance between PA is what? 176.91. This was the first horizontal distance. So we'll get the gradient as 1 in 5.565. And similarly for gradient PB, which is what? Uh, the difference of level from P to B, which is 450.5 minus what? At point B, the RL was coming out to be 419.245 divided by what? Uh, the horizontal distance which is 146.389 this is coming out to be 1 in 4.68 okay so in this way you can calculate what uh, in this way we have covered all the three cases of fixed hair method which was uh, when the staff is perfectly horizontal uh, perfectly vertical and the line of sight is horizontal. Second, when the line of sight is inclined upward or downward and the staff is being held vertical. And the third case is what? When the line of sight is inclined upward or downward and the staff is held normal to the line of sight. Okay, the three case, all the three cases we have done. Uh, there is another numerical related to the tachometer survey, uh, which will I try to calculate, uh, we will try to calculate this also. And then we will complete with the uh, fixed hair method. So over here you can see that the following are the records of tachometer survey. The uh, instrument station has been given at point A, B and C. The staff is kept at B. The staff has been kept at C. The staff has been kept at D. We have got the bearings. Uh, so, so far the bearings were not given. The bearings are also coming in this question. So, it will be a little different from the previous one. Okay. Uh, I think this is creating a traverse. You can see that A, when from A to B, it is going from B to C. It is going from C to D. It is going. It is, I think it is making a traverse over here. Uh, the vertical angle is what 10 degree, 5 degree, 8 degree, and this is the range which has been given. The multiplying constant is what 100, the additive constant is 0, the staff has been held vertical. So over here it is staying vertically. So we need to use the formula which is 
provided in case of vertical calculate the length of and length and the bearings of da so first we will calculate what the distance required for the formula so based on the distance formula we will try to calculate the distance since f plus d is what i data constant is zero so we need to use only this much thing only so we have got the distance of ab we have got the distance of bc we have got the distance of cd so in this means coming out to be 96 this is 158.7 and 117.67 so over here as i have told you that based on this we can see that this, it is forming a traverse over here so we can also calculate the what the latitude departures of this point since it is creating a traverse so the latitude will be what uh, the latitude is nothing but what l cos theta and departure is what l sin theta so the ab we have calculated ab is coming out to be what 96.98 cos 30 degree 30 minutes okay based on what we are uh, taking it as <coughs> excuse me uh, ba based on what we are keeping this positive and negative um, it is based on what uh, the sign which has been given so as you can see that the first reading has been provided with what north so latitude is related to what north and south and your departure is related to east and west north is positive South is negative, east is positive, west is negative. Okay, so AB, L cos theta, so the value is coming out to be 83.40, BC, L uh, cos theta, and the sign is what south, so it is being negative. So it is coming out to be what? Uh, 1 minus 121.63, and CD is what? 117.67 into cos theta. Again, the sign is south, so this will be what this, and DA we are assuming it as L cos theta and similarly in departure we have calculated this value the first one is E so it will be positive this will be positive this will be negative so positive positive this will be negative it will be L sin theta so dA is what L sin theta okay so as, I've, as we have done in the previous uh, chapters or in the previous uh, surveying one chapters uh, regarding latitude and departure we have uh, done this numerical where in case of a closed traverse, the sum of latitude must be equal to zero and the sum of the departure must be equal to zero. So we'll apply the same method over here. The sum of latitude is equal to what zero. So L cos theta is value is coming out to be after adding this, uh, taking the value on the right hand side, we are getting this uh, uh, equation. And similarly for the second one, we are getting this equation. Okay. Since the latitude is positive, latitude positive means what? It is showing a north sign and since your departure is negative that means it is a what it is a west sign that means the angle is somewhere between northwest uh, so angle will coming uh, the angle will be coming out to be what 10 theta is equal to what 68 point l sin theta divided by what l cos theta so final value is coming out to be 0 0.506 and the angle is in the form of, form of degree minutes in second it will be what 29 degree 16 minute 38 second okay uh, the bearing of DA, bearing of DA will be what north 29 degrees 16 minute 38 second, and the length of DA will be what it will be what nothing but your uh, latitude L cos L cos uh, theta square plus L sine square theta square. So this will give you the horizontal distance. So the final value of DA is coming out to be 139.21 meter. Okay, after that, there is another problem, we will try to solve all this also, the following observations are taken from a traverse station, so it is clearly mentioning that it is a traverse station A and B to the point C and D, so observations are made from point A and point B, that means instrument has been shifted from A to B, uh, these two stations are the, these two points are the station, uh, points where the instrument has been shifted, this Staff has been held at point C, the staff has been held at point D, the height of instrument axis is 1.48 and 1.42. The bearings are given. We have got the vertical angle, we have got the staff reading. So we have also got the coordinates over here. So this is something new. Uh, coordinates, so far the coordinates were not given. And these coordinates are given. A is coming out to be 112.8 north, 1106.4 west. Coordinate of B is 198.5 north and 292.6 west. Determine the length of line CD. CD. We need to calculate the length of the line CD. So, in this, we will calculate what the distance by using the same distance formula. 
uh, f by i into what s into cos square theta. So we have got the value of AC, which is coming out to be 158.63. And similarly from BD, we can calculate the horizontal distance, which is coming out to be 189.49. Uh, now we can, con in order to convert this into latitude de departure, we need to convert this value into what uh, your reduced bearing this is in the form of full circle bearing. So we are trying to reduce it. Uh, so reduced bearing is nothing but what? Uh, in the form of north south. So the reduced bearing is of this will be what? Since it is coming in 126 direction, 126 degree 30 minutes, this will be south. This will be what? East. So reduced bearing is nothing but the angle which is being measured from um, either north or either south, whichever is near. So in this case, it is coming near the south. So 180 degree minus 126 degree 30 minutes that will give you the value of what? Uh, 53.30 degree, 53 degree 30 minutes uh, southeast. Okay. Similarly, 184 is coming somewhere here. So south is near and this will be west. Okay. Angle will be what? 180 minus 184.45 that will be 4 degree 45 minutes southwest. Okay. So in this way we have converted it into the reduced bearing. And based on that, we have also calculated the latitude and departure. The latitude is related to north and south to south. This both the values coming out to be south, so this will be negative. This is again negative. So the value is one minus 94.36, and this value is what 188.84. Similarly, departure is related to what your east-west sign. So this one is your east. This will be positive. This will be your west. This will be your negative. So the value is coming out to be this, and this value is coming out to be this. Now after here we can calculate based on the coordinates we will try to calculate the distance okay now we have got the coordinates of c uh, we, we don't have the coordinates of c we will create the coordinates of c by using this latitude and departure we have got the latitude of a which is coming out to be what plus 112.82 this is the coordinate which has been given for point a okay since it is positive that means it is the north now the total latitude of c will be what so the total latitude of north will be what since we have got the uh, we have got the latitude of AC line we have and once we have got the latitude of A and this is the particular this is of the line so we can minus this latitude with the uh, latitude which is been provided for A so 112.82 minus what 94.36 that will give you the latitude of C so we have got the latitude of point C and in the similar way um, you have also got the departure of A. The departure of A is coming out to be what? Minus, since it is west, which will be minus 104.64. So total departure again will be what? We have got the line AC departure, which is 127.52. So this is minus, sorry, minus 106.4 plus, uh, plus 127.52. So the value of Departure at C is what 21.12 meter. Okay. Similarly, we will calculate the coordinates of D. So the latitude of B has been given. The latitude of B is 198.5 north so positive. Uh, and this was coming out to be negative. So after using this, we have got the value of what? Uh, plus 9.66 meter. The latitude of D and similarly the departure of D. Uh, it will be what? Uh, the latitude, sorry, the departure of B is 292.6 negative, so minus 292.6 minus, and again this value is coming out to be what minus, so minus uh, 15.69. Okay, I think this will be also minus only minus into minus, this will be minus only 308. Point. 92 okay now we can calculate dx and cx based now the uh, what you have to do you need to create a diagram related to the coordinate which has been given which we have calculated based on this calculation we have got the coordinates of c we have called we have got the coordinates of d so we will try to create a diagram uh, based on that okay so see over here this is your coordinate system this is your north south this is your east west so first we will try to fix what there is in your point C. So the first thing which we need to tell, uh, we need to take into consideration is that 
latitude of sea is coming out to be north man that means it is somewhere in the north okay so we are taking an approximate point over here okay first we are considering that it is that north because we have we don't know the departure value but it is also saying that the departure value is coming out to be positive that means departure positive that means it is east okay this was coming out to be positive that means it was not this is coming out to be positive that means it is means east so c will be somewhere over here okay similarly we will draw d okay so d, d will be what again the latitude is coming out to be what positive so latitude is positive somewhere here okay and the departure is coming out to be what negative it, it should be negative because minus 292.6 minus 15.69 will give you minus value only so we will have to draw it somewhere here this will be your west side okay so now we will create the diagram over here we have got the point c we have point the point d so we will try to calculate what do we have got a small triangle over here okay we will mark it as x okay now dx is what the departure of c plus departure of d very correct departure of dx the total distance of dx will be what the departure of which we are getting in this and which we are getting in this the departure of c plus the departure of d correct will be correct as c 21.12 and 308.29 respective of the sign because we need to calculate this horizontal distance only okay and cx we can also calculate cx cx is nothing but what uh, we have got this value the latitude of what point d and we have got the latitude of point c so the latitude of c minus latitude of point d the latitude of point c minus latitude of point d that is coming out to be 8.78 so the length of cd will be what by using your hypotenuse theorem that will be what cx square plus dx square under root under root of dx square plus cx square that will give you the length of cd which is coming out to be 329.52 meter hope you have understood this how we have calculated okay so we will finish till here we will try to do the other methods which is your movable air method and the tangential method in the next class and then we will complete our first unit uh, which is psychometric survey okay if you have any doubts related to this you can click a screenshot in your phone and send me on whatsapp and clear your doubt over here and one more thing uh, i request all of you to try to calculate uh, by yourself so that it will be easy to understand okay okay thank you thank you so much